The InSight Mars lander touched the surface of Mars for the first time on November 26, 2018. In the course of the nearly four-year mission, NASA finally discovered what scientists had been looking for on Mars for so long. But what is it that researchers have wanted to know about Mars for so long? And what will this discovery change now? Are you curious? Then follow us now on this journey to the last secrets of the Red Planet. Insights launch to a mission of the century. Mars probes and rovers have been many in the history of planetary exploration to date, but InSight was different. The unusual lander was designed and equipped like no probe before it. Scientists involved in the project eagerly watched the launch of the Atlas V rocket that would carry InSight into space. On May 5, 2018, the time had come, and the spacecraft lifted off from the Vandenberg Air Force Base and set out on its journey. At NASA, the launch of the mission was viewed with mixed emotions. At that point, more than half of the planned Mars missions had failed. Either they had never launched, or they had failed when they arrived on Mars. Millions were lost as a result, and no one knew what InSight's fate would be. InSight also began with a problem. A previous launch attempt was delayed for several months due to a vacuum leak in the size instrument. But all went well. In Earth orbit, InSight slowly detached from the rocket stages and then floated freely in space. The lander was in space for six and a half months. The technical device covered 484 million kilometers until it entered the thin atmosphere of Mars, 125 kilometers above the surface on November 26, 2018. The probe, which weighed just 700 kilograms, hurtled through the atmosphere at almost 20,000 kilometers per hour, having to withstand temperatures of around 1,500 degrees Celsius. To ensure that the fine measuring instruments on board the probe and all the other expensive gimmicks could withstand this extreme stress, InSight was securely packed in a kind of protective cover. The probe covered the last few meters hanging from a parachute, and its own small rocket engines provided the necessary counter thrust to let the probe land safely and softly on the Martian soil. As soon as it arrived, InSight began deploying its solar panels and taking initial measurements. Thus began some four years of exciting Mars exploration. Past Mars Missions InSight was the first high-power seismic measurement station on Mars. NASA had previously sent two other main missions to Mars equipped with seismometers. However, the technology of Viking 1 and Viking 2, which were launched in the 1970s, cannot be compared to the technical capabilities of InSight. Moreover, the Viking missions were quite a bust. The seismometer of Viking 1 did not work properly during the landing and could not be used at all. Viking 2 was able to take measurements, but the instruments were so poorly calibrated after landing that it has always remained unclear whether the probe's measurements were due to seismic activity or wind. InSight's Mission and Challenges InSight was intended to make up for this failure of the Viking missions after many years. The probe's main objective was clearly to survey and explore the interior of Mars. For this purpose, the lander, which was about one meter high and six meters long, was equipped with a seismometer, a windscreen, and a highly mobile robotic arm. The necessary power was provided by the two solar panels that gave this probe its distinctive appearance. In addition to the seismic instruments, InSight had a complete small weather station on board and a robotic arm called the Mole, which the probe would use to dig deep into the Martian soil to take temperature measurements in the upper layers of rock. First data fascinated. Even during the landing approach, and with the solar panels still folded in, InSight began collecting data. At NASA, Scientists and technicians alike were beside themselves. The lander picked up vibrations from Martian winds and, for the first time, filmed clouds of water ice passing directly overhead. Tapes of the sound of Mars have been thrilling millions of people on the web since the mission launch. The Secret of Seismic Activity Seismic signals are any vibrations or intrinsic sounds that a planet experiences or produces. Like Earth, Mars is not silent inside. Or at least we know that now, and thanks to InSight. Before, it was not so clear to scientists just how alive and active Mars still is inside. Today, 
the planet appears to be a desolate, rocky world with stunning rock formations, sweeping mountains and deep canyons, but traces of life or vegetation are completely absent, as is evidence of liquid water. There are several references to dried up lakes and even entire oceans and river courses. But where has all the water gone if Mars was once a mild water world? In addition to monitoring seismic activity such as Mars quakes, InSight was designed to scan the interior of Mars. Over the months, a perfect map of the Martian interior emerged thanks to the recording of internal waves. On these interior maps, researchers hoped there should also be evidence of underground lakes or water deposits. But first, the scientists' main interest was the activity of the Martian quakes. InSight has recorded about 450 seismic tremors. These Mars quakes are usually very fine and uniform. The strongest of them have magnitudes of 4.0 to 5.0, although the vast majority of quakes stayed well below that. The sound of Mars's interior was surprising, as researchers detected tremors with a repetition frequency similar to the human heartbeat. It almost seemed as if Mars was more alive inside than scientists had previously thought. Each of these tremors also tells a unique story about Mars's geological activity and its ongoing evolution. As the fine waves travel through the Martian subsurface, they encounter different layers of rock, cavities, and strata within. Each of these layers interacts with the quake waves through its own vibrational patterns. Based on the changes that the frequency patterns undergo as they travel through the planet, Researchers can find out details about the planet's internal composition and makeup. Lucky Meteorite Impact The questions scientists have long sought answers to were whether Mars still has an active core in its interior, and why it evolved to become dust dry and desolate today. By a lucky coincidence, both of these questions were answered. On the other side of Mars, a meteorite had hit and had caused vibrations, which went at once across the planet. These waves measured Mars virtually once in its entire cross-section and thus finally provided scientists with the answer to the question of the core. Researchers were able to perceive for the first time that Mars does indeed have an active core. The surprise was that this core, which is about 1,830 kilometers wide, must be liquid throughout. Our Earth has a core of nearly solid iron surrounded by liquid materials and a crust creating an optimal, stable magnetic field that protects us from influences from the cosmos. Mars's weak magnetic field was almost certainly responsible for leaving the planet almost defenseless against the bombardment of solar particles and cosmic rays. The magnetic field specifically protects us from radiation from the sun. The magnetic field lines catch the myriads of particles that hit our planet daily from the sun and guide them along their course lines into a kind of protective bag on Mars, this protection may never have been as well-developed as it is here. Solar winds and radiation from space hit our neighboring planet much harder. The atmosphere probably became thinner and thinner, water escaped into space, retreated underground, or froze. If Mars really once was a world similar to Earth, it became desolate because of the lack of protection. In the course of the InSight mission, Evidence actually also grew that Mars really was once a world with water, a mild climate, and perhaps plants or simple living things. Deep beneath the dusty surface of Mars, the Mars lander found evidence to support these theories. Measurements there showed another magnetic field ten times stronger than scientists had previously thought. This ancient magnetic field, trapped in the rocks of Mars, provided evidence of a time when Mars had a denser atmosphere and possibly liquid water on its surface. The Song of Mars While InSight was unraveling the seismic mysteries of Mars, the spacecraft encountered another unexpected sound inside. The mysterious hum that sounded almost like a ditty. After the heartbeats of Mars and the gentle whistling of the wind, it was now almost as if Mars was casually humming away. Astrogeologists describe this humming like a melody of Mars waiting to be understood by us. Compared to the barren and rocky surface, which has so far held few surprises except for endless landscapes and lots of rock, the sounds of the planet are a veritable treasure chest of new discoveries. No plates, but a crust. During its four-year observing period, 
Inside's seismic experiment for interior structure surveyed nearly the entire interior of Mars. Like X-rays, the seismic waves ran through the planet and revealed, among other things, that Mars has no continental plates like Earth. Rather, the surface appears to resemble a single solid crust. Planetary scientists had long suspected this, and thanks to insight, confirmation finally came. The crust turned out to be much thinner than expected, but regionally, it has two or even three sub-layers. The thickness of the simple crust is usually around 20 kilometers. Where there are two or three sub-layers, it is up to 37 kilometers thick. In addition to all these discoveries, Insight has studied Mars's volatile atmosphere, recorded hurricanes and real tornadoes, and collected thousands of data on wind speed and direction. Thanks to this information, scientists now have a comprehensive picture of the weather and climate on Mars. This data will, of course, be of paramount importance in preparing manned missions to Mars. Dwellings for humans, who will one day study Mars on the ground, must be optimally adapted to the weather conditions. No human being can survive on the planet for long, outside a protected shelter. The harsh Martian climate was also felt by insight. After surviving numerous sandstorms, so many deposits had formed that the solar panels were increasingly failing. After four successful mission years, the end came for insight. The power supply was simply no longer sufficient. In December 2022, NASA announced the official end of the mission. What do you have to say? Despite its demise by sand, do you consider this probe a full success? And what do you think about Mars and its past now? Do you think the planet was once similar to Earth?